Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview of the Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse AW959. So from the box and the specs, it looks pretty cool, but let's see what's inside and uh, let's see what makes it tick and see how good it is. So come over here real quick. All right, so here she is again, the Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse AW959. Along the front, on the box, we can see, well, the mouse and then the two detachable sides. This is going off of their previous mouse. Um, just hopefully it's going to be a little bit more comfortable in the hand. Along the side here, just plain black, and then we can see there is some etchings here or some markings. Not too sure what those are. Oh, that's deconstructing the mouse itself, but don't worry about that. Along the back, iconic Alienware design with Alien FX lighting and, well, a bunch of stuff here. And we'll go over everything it's going to say here. Okay, and then along the other side, 16.8 million colors RGB. It has a DPI of 12,000, that's pretty impressive. And an IPS speed of 250, along with 50G acceleration. And a polling rate of 1000 Hz, or 1 millisecond. So let's go ahead and crack her open real quick. Okay, we can see the mouse there. You can't tell, but it's covered in plastic, so you can't really take it out just yet. And then we can see here, okay, just talking about the mouse. So let's go ahead, open it up. Unfortunately, I left my razor downstairs, but that's okay. That opens up pretty easy. And that's not the way to take it out. Although, yeah, so I'm just going to take the mouse, put it aside just for right now. Okay, and I'm going to just take everything out of the box itself. Okay, and, ah, okay. So this comes out. And there are some manuals. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this away for now. First manual, Alienware Elite Gaming Mouse AW959 Quick Start Guide. Seriously, quick start, no words, just pictures, which most of the time is perfect. Teaching you how to put everything to the mouse, how to put the feet on if they're not already on, and uh, how to put the sides on, how to put the weights in, where to plug it in, and then installing the software okay and then the warranty safety environmental and regulatory information I'm sure there's good stuff here but the big old pamphlet but yeah very important stuff <laughs> make sure you read it all right cardboard okay so this is the left side of the mouse itself you can see there's one two three four buttons see that okay and then the other side of the mouse the right side is just plain flat now it says interchangeable that's because there's already sides on the mouse but again we'll get to that in one sec and then here are the two weights themselves. You can't even go so far as completely removing one of these guys, only using the other half. Each of these are five grams in weight. So 10 grams here, 10 grams here. Just gonna put this aside for right now. The cable is braided. You can see that right there. Okay. And a regular USB connection. Not gold plated or anything. With the USB logo right there. Okay, and we are at the mouse itself. So, 
It has a soft touch thermoplastic elastomer side grips. So it does feel very, like you can have a good grip on it with this thermoplastic elastomer side grips. Feels rubberized, so it feels nice. Okay, and it, obviously it is a wired cable. And you can see here the laser etched logo on the mouse itself, along with the laser etched left and right over here. Okay, this is tested up to 50 million clicks using the Omron micro switches or the Omron switches. And so the one that it comes with, the side is only has two buttons. The other side is plain flat over here. So you can just easily take them off. These little guys here are magnetic. So they stick to the inside of the mouse here. Put that aside for right now. Same thing with this one, just pull it off. You don't have to unscrew anything. Then you can see here where the buttons come in contact with over here. And then if you wanted to switch them out, just grab the other one. This is the one that has four buttons. That's it, it's on. And then same thing over here, it's on. So pretty simple. Okay, it has an adjustable three position palm rest. Now you may be asking where that is. You can just one, that was two actually. One, two, and three. So, you know, you can have your hand out like this, you know, just keeping your, your palm further back. So that's a nice little touch there. Again, with AlienFX software, you do have to install in your computer. It provides 16.8 million RGB lights, so that is adjustable through AlienFX. Okay, and then right down here, we can just take these pieces of plastic off to expose the feet here. And then to slide these in, you just simply grab them and make sure that this is facing upwards, these little grooves, and just push it in, they click into place. And then they make it, hmm, okay, I like the weight. So the 12,000 DPI comes from the Pixar optical sensor. The optical sensor also has surface calibration capability. So within the software, you can adjust that. And then five on the fly DPI resolutions or settings. The, resolu the DPI resolutions go from 100 to 12,000. Again, as I mentioned before, the 250 IPS speed, 50G acceleration, 1000 Hertz polling rate, 512 kilobytes of onboard memory. The height of this mouse is 5.12 inches. So this way, sorry, the length is 5.12 inches. The height is 1.53 inches and the width is 3.45 inches. All right, so next up, aside from showing you the unboxing and everything, this also, and I did forget to mention, this has 11 buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So with these four buttons, these two buttons, clicking down here is one button, then left and right, those are two more buttons, and then left or right here, those are two more buttons. These are for DPI selection. And that's about it for now. Next video is going to be on using the AlienFX software and configuring all the macros and all that good stuff. Stay tuned here for more updates on this mouse and more to come. Iggy out. See you guys.